know, January is blood donor month and the final yard leading up to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 58, by the way, the American Red Cross just announced an emergency blood shortage that is an ongoing issue nationwide. So joining us live is regional communications manager from the Red Cross, Dana Simmons, to tell us more about this shortage, how you can help out and how people can win a trip to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas just by donating. To me, that's a win win in football terms and in life, right? Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. We, we are currently experiencing an emergency blood shortage, and the nation is facing the lowest number of people giving blood in 20 years. Wow, that says a lot, Dana. Absolutely. So blood and platelet donors are needed now to make sure that we alleviate the shortage and to make sure that life-saving medical procedures aren't delayed. What is the reason? Are you guys able to put your thumb on it as to why we're seeing the worst in decades? Yeah, well, in recent years, since 2019 and the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've actually seen a de decrease in about 300,000 blood donors. And that's for several reasons, but one is remote work. So a lot more mm. people are working from home. And so people that would typically give blood in their offices during sure. their work day may not be giving blood anymore. And maybe just the concerns of giving blood. I, I, what else are some of the driving factors uh, around that? There was also, um, prior to 2019, there was also just some eligibility changes by the FDA okay. that could also have an impact. Um, but what we're focused on now is getting the community out to donate blood yeah. and help replenish the supply. Yeah, it's so easy, it's so safe to do. Uh, are there certain um, blood types that you guys are looking for that are in lower supply right now? Yeah, so all blood types are needed, but we do have an urgent need for type O and platelets. So okay. um, type O positive is the most transfused blood type, and we've actually had to limit distributions to our hospital partners for typo positive in mm. recent weeks and then we also have typo negative which most people are aware of it's the universal blood type and that's sure. usually what medical personnel are going to reach for first when they don't have time to determine someone's blood type all right well we're going to convince some folks to give blood because you guys are giving away uh, a great package right can you talk about that a little yeah we've teamed up with the nfl so any donor that comes out in the month of january has a chance to win a trip for two to the super bowl wow. which is super exciting this includes round trip airfare, um, hotel accommodations, um, obviously tickets to the Super Bowl, and also a thousand dollar gift card for expenses. So yeah. wow, and the NFL experience and everything else that surrounds that. I mean, you're going to be living it up big, and uh, also the blood that you gave will be saving lives. I mean, that's really what this is all about. Absolutely. In addition to um, the great incentive of a chance to win Super Bowl tickets. You're also helping patients in need, which is really critical during this time. So folks that are watching at home and saying, look, I, I've never given, maybe this is incentivizing them, but maybe they're also just like, you know, I think it's time for me to give, especially since there's such a shortage I want to give out. Can you walk us through kind of what it's like to donate? Yeah, it's such an easy process. A uh, whole blood donation only takes about an hour. So you're going to arrive at the blood drive or blood donation center. You're going to get checked in with one of our volunteers. You'll go through health history. So it's a mini physical. Um, you'll head over to the donation chair. The typical donation only takes about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. You head to refreshments, get a snack and some water to rehydrate. Um, and then you leave knowing that you made a difference awesome. in a patient's life. That's really cool. Um, for People that aren't sure whether they're eligible or not, are there eligibility requirements that we need to know here in California? Yeah, so you need to be at least 17 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and be in general good health. We know a lot of people have seasonal illnesses, so we want people healthy when they're coming in to donate. Um, but a lot of people do have questions about eligibility. We encourage them to go to redcrossblood.org slash eligibility to find out more. Any other uh, incentives you guys are offering in January? I mean, this one's big enough, don't get me wrong, but uh, there's always something that you get when you, get, you, you, you head up. Out there and you donate blood yeah absolutely um like i said in addition to the nfl incentive you know you leave knowing yeah. that you made a difference so. yeah you get that little snack afterwards too. absolutely that's enough for some people just to show up right there well thank you so much for coming in really appreciate it and uh, if you get the chance folks get out there help out the red cross give a little blood and you could be heading to the big the big game big super bowl awesome all right stay with us everyone taking a quick break we'll be right back with your top headlines and your updated forecast